All right, we got a quick one. Yay for set booster. Because we can't get any of the others. Like, <laughs> anything. Yeah, no time I was final. surprised I got this one. Finn the Fang Bear. I like Finn. Volatile Fjord. Weighted down. Wither Crown. Draugr Recruiter. Dog's Percy. Which we have. That's a new one. No, yeah, we have that one. Oh, well, I didn't see it. Three bats. Ooh. Mm, glorious. glorious Protector. Hm. I don't think we have that one. I don't remember it. Woohoo! But it's not foil. But no, it's... but that, that's still an 8 or $9 card. Ooh, and then Maja. 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 And then foil. Frost Piketty. Frost Piketty, and then just a... So you pulled a mythic. I got. Oh, that's pretty. I like that one. So this one, which one is this one? Vengeful Reaper. That one's cool. Okay. I keep moving it, then I have to back up. <clears throat> Snowfield Island. Augury Raven. Raven form. A lot of bullets. You buddy. Oh, that one's new. I haven't seen that one. We have it. Do we? Yes. Why don't I remember it? I don't know. I mean, I saw another ones that you like flung through and I didn't see. Depart the realm. Mistwalker. <clears throat> That's a cool one. And War Chanter Scald. Hmm. Saw it coming. <laughs> Vega the Watcher. Woo. Very hooey. Search for glory. Frostbite. A foil stalwart Valkyrie. And a dwarf. You got a dwarf token. Yep, you won. Yay! You won. Well, the time has come. I lost. But that's okay because it's mail call. That's right. So we're going to save this this one for last. So I had ordered some singles on TCG Player. Because, you know, why not? Um, so I thought I'd share with you guys what I got. Because why not? So a lot of times when I get cards for, you know, singles and stuff like that, it's for decks that I want to complete that are not proxies. Or in some cases, I want to have the actual cards for one reason or another. But All right. So this one, uh, let's see here. So we got Folio of Fancies. Um... So, pretty cool artifact. Uh, players have no maximum hand size. You pay XX. Tap. Each player draws X cards. Pay two and a blue. Tap. Each opponent puts a number of cards equal to the number of cards in their hand from the top of their library into their graveyard. And it's the, the promo card because, you know, why not, right? Why not? Let's have that focus with it. Okay, so Folio of Fancies from Throne of Eldraine. Oh boy. All right, the next one. And th there's a particular reason why I'm saving this one for last, uh, which I'll explain here in a minute. All right, so next up, 
we've got a foil promo of Hooded Blight Thing. I think this is the only one in this one. Um, I don't know. I don't know about you guys. I like the the um, the promo ones with the Planeswalker symbol on the card. So it's so pretty. Um, this one I'll probably put in my. So I I'm trying to figure out a deck around, a commander deck around Finn the Fang Bear. Um, very much like my standard deck, uh, where it's very death touch heavy. Uh, this is a very, very good card for that. Next up, cards from Orange Magic Games. Oh, where's the last one from? The last one was from Campus Cards and Games. This was from Orange Magic Games. Um, one thing I like, and, and I prefer ordering cards from TCG over uh, other sites like um, Card Kingdom, because this, I'm still supporting LGS, you know, local game shops. So, I'm all for that, and they did a good job uh, packing this one. Alright, this one is, ooh, my Vidalcran Ori. In Japanese normally a $30 card but this is all this is about half so I've come to the conclusion that honestly getting cards in different languages um, is a much better deal I mean it's the same card it's legitimate uh, but that that'll come in very handy especially in the Glissa and her wonderful toys deck uh, this is from laughing dragon This one, Natural Affinity. <laughs> okay, so the reason why I picked this one up, um, uh, this will actually be going into my um, Elf Tribal deck. So, because I wanted to add a little extra spice salt to the deck, I will be adding Massacre Worm. So... The combo is, you play Natural Affinity, all lands become 2-2 two, two creatures until end of turn, they still count as lands. So you play this, everyone's lands become 2-2 two, two creatures. You then cast Massacre Worm, giving all creatures minus 2, minus 2 until end of turn. And then, uh, or giving all of your opponent's creatures minus 2, minus 2 until end of turn. Once you do that... It kills all their lands. Um, I know, I know, land hate. It is what it is. But then Massacre Worm deals two damage for each creature that opponent lost. So this this combo is a game winner. So figured why not? It's up there with the Triumph of the Hordes. All right, so this particular one, uh, as you can see from TCG Player Direct, um, if you have been following... Kind of the mainstream stuff. Uh, Cassius Marsh, uh, NFL player who just recently opened up his own card shop, uh, has a great working relationship with TCG player. So I was like, you know what? I want to order some cards from Cassius Marsh and his store, Cash Cards Unlimited. And this this is not sponsored by his his shop or sponsored by um wait oh correction this is not um once i looked at the invoice <laughs> uh this is not from that which is fine um i do have cards coming from cash cards unlimited so um but i so this we got aladdin uh the reason why i wanted this i actually have the Magic Carpet, I have Aladdin's Ring. Um, I, I wanted just a, a complete set of the Aladdin stuff. So, uh, and then there was uh, another card in here that I have a 
I have an idea for a new deck. Um, and I really like how they um, send their cards. Uh, TCG Direct is, is pretty fantastic. Okay, so Aladdin. Pretty cool. Pay one red, red, tap Aladdin. Gain control of target artifact. Lose control of target artifact if Aladdin leaves play or if you lose control of Aladdin. Okay. And then the other one is Magnetic Web. So this is from the Tempest set. Uh, if any creature with a magnet counter on it attacks all creatures with magnet counters on them uh, that the attacking player controls attack your fable. So what you do is you put these magnetic counters on creatures that are problematic and you can put other magnetic counters on other creatures um, or yours depending on the, the build of the deck. But if any creature with a magnet counter on it attacks all creatures with magnet counters on them that the defending player controls, excuse me, block that creature if able. And then you pay one, tap, put a magnet counter on target creature. So a really cool card for a two drop. Uh, I was watching, uh, it's another another channel that I've got no problem giving a shout out for, uh, EDH Deck Building. Uh, the guy who runs the channel, uh, Demo, uh, shares a lot of the uh, unknown cards within Magic's history that's great for uh, for Commander. And this is one he's mentioned a few times, and I just, I really like the idea and the mechanic of it. So, um, yeah, definitely a fun day. Like I said, I got to make up for losing to my wife in, in that battle. But I, I'm happy she won. She'll, I know she's super happy to, to wear the crown again. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this. I want to get these... Here, let, let's fix this, shall we? Okay, so... Do, 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 do. Just... Why not? Why not? Um, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, a fantastic week. Um, again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to do so. Click that bell notification so you don't miss any of our videos. Uh, I will be having a deck tech coming out here. Um, in the next week or so to talk about the championship deck uh, for whoever wins the league. Uh, so make sure to stay tuned for that. And as always, pay it forward, do something nice for someone, and we'll catch you on the next one.